Scientists compare the waters off of California to Africa's Serengeti Plain for its richness of life. Most of the Pacific Ocean's top predators thrive there, including great white sharks. But San Diego's offshore dorsal finned residents are mostly harmless pups. We don't actually see too many large white sharks off of Southern California. Uh, they occasionally come through, but we don't have any resident fish we think in the area. Shark researcher Nick Wagner with Scripps Institution of Oceanography says San Diego waters provide a nursery ground for the five foot long great white newborns, but their parents tend to stay away. There's no parental care for white sharks. And so once the, the mom shark drops off the pups, she leaves and the pups are there to fend for themselves. And so the pups seem to end up off our coast in Southern California, and they're probably attracted to high abundances of fish, generally calm waters, and the area where they can best feel like they can survive. Wagner says the question that remains is exactly where females go to give birth. So we've never actually seen a white shark give birth, um, but because we have high numbers of, of juveniles um, in Southern California, we suspect that uh, they give birth somewhere uh, in Southern California or, or in adjacent waters. San Diego lifeguard Lieutenant Greg Buchanan says mom does swim in close to shore on occasion to show off her large dorsal fin, most recently on July 2nd, when a lifeguard and eight witnesses spotted what they believe to be a 12 to 15 foot great white lurking off La Jolla shores. Swimmers were called out of the water and the beach was closed. The water was super clear that day, so we got a helicopter up within a few minutes. We had a rescue boat and jet skis and all the lifeguards looking. Buchanan says the big one got away that day, but he says shark sightings are on the rise. He says he receives about two to three credible reports every week. Our criteria is that if we find the, uh, shark, the confirmed shark sighting within 500 yards of shore, we're going to basically consider the, a closure and then the area outside the 500 yards is what we'll describe as an advisory, which means we're gonna tell everybody what we've seen and let them know that we're under a shark advisory and then they can choose to exit the water or not. Buchanan says the most common area for sightings is La Jolla. Here at La Jolla Cove, the seal and sea lion population is about 300. They're a great white's favorite meal and some researchers say they're the reason adult sharks occasionally come close to shore. <laughs> Wagner says La Jolla's marine mammal population pales in comparison to other California beaches. The National Marine Fisheries Service estimates there are more than 300,000 seals and sea lions along the California coast, a number that has exploded in the last 40 years since the passing of the Marine Mammal Protection Act. Most of the large centers for white sharks are in larger areas where there's more abundant seals and sea lions and elephant seals. And so that's why we see an abundance of white sharks off the central coast. Near the Farallon Islands off of San Francisco, the other population center for adult sharks is off of Mexico's Guadalupe Island. But Chris Lowe, the director of the Shark Lab at Cal State Long Beach, believes La Jolla offers another draw for large sharks. One of the interesting things about La Jolla is you have that deep water canyon there, so it's possible that these sharks are staying deep and might periodically come up the canyon where they're exposed to shallower water. Wagner says great whites aren't the only large sharks off San Diego. So off the coast here, we have a lot of mako sharks and blue sharks. Those are probably two of the most common uh, oceanic sharks, large sharks that we have off our coast. In the springtime, we get thresher sharks, which come through, and they drop off uh, their pups um, in the spring and summer months. And they, um, and they can get quite large as well. Wagner says San Diego sharks are mostly harmless to swimmers. We've only had a couple of fatal shark attacks in the last hundred years in San Diego County, so shark attacks are very rare in, in, in San Diego, and we always get, you know, there's always a lot of excitement generated when, when a white shark is spotted, but there's very, very few incidents with them attacking people. The Pacific Coast had 108 great white shark attacks recorded in the 20th century. Between 2000 and 2010, there were 54 attacks. Most victims survived. The latest fatality happened in 2008 off Solana Beach in North San Diego County. I would always tell people that sharks exist in the ocean, and so they need to know that. Uh, and then basically be aware and if you see anything that you think is unusual that, and you think might be a great white shark, they, they should tell a lifeguard immediately and then make sure that they stick around so that we can actually interview them and get first-hand knowledge of what they saw.